Hello Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel, Wisdom and Light here, and I am back with another astral message. If your sun, moon, or rising just so happens to be in Scorpio, this message is divinely for you. Keep in mind that messages are general that comes through in this reading. We're reading for a big group of Scorpio, so you can just grab what resonates. But if you were brought here to this video, you were meant to receive these messages. So, how is your Libra season going? Libra season, I'm sorry. How is your Libra season going? Which for you guys is like halftime until the grand finale and that's Scorpio season. How are you guys feeling? I hope you guys are doing good. So we're just going to be pulling on Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. What is the energy around Scorpio? What do Scorpios need to know for their highest good and protection? To and stop. Okay. Justice shows up for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Okay. Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. I heard unfinished business. Okay. Information could be coming to you soon, Scorpio. Okay. Something you've been waiting on. Yeah, something's coming towards you, Scorpio. Something coming something is coming towards you. Information that you needed to hear. You've been waiting on it. You've been waiting on confirmation. So this reading is confirmation that you are going to be receiving the answer that you've been looking for. Because you needed confirmation. And we have the three of cups. Another thing that I heard for Scorpio is reunion. So that's another vibe that's coming through for Scorpio as well. You guys could be reconnecting with someone from the past. Or you guys could be mending things with someone where the relationship fell apart or it was broken. There could be someone that wants to mend things with you, Scorpio. Ace of Swords. So you are going to be receiving news. So you guys fall into that category of maybe an ex reached out to you, someone from the past. Or it could be a friend that you used to be very close with that wants to kind of break bread with you. They want to make amends. And whoever that this person is, this person is very demanding of speaking to you and wanting to be around you. Or Scorpio, you could be the one that wants to get this out of the way and speak about it and just lay it out there. Because maybe things have been difficult for you. Maybe things have been heavy. Another message that's coming through for Scorpio, if you're not dealing with anyone coming back from your past... There is an energy surrounding Scorpio where I do feel that your vibes have been very, very, um, feeling a little bit lethargic, feeling a little bit heavy. And it's really because, um, the season is gearing up to start focusing on your energy. So you're feeling very, yes, you're feeling rejuvenated, but you're also feeling tired at the same time. So some of you guys may be feeling exhausted. You may be feeling overwhelmed, but there is a vibe here of, we're going to mend what is broken. We're going to have clarity. We're going to make sense of what's not making sense. The truth is going to come out. And I need the truth for my own clarity so I can choose on the option that I want to do and go forward from there. And Scorpio, I just have a good feeling that you have nothing to worry about because this is going to be going in your favor. And I do feel like for some of you, Scorpio, you guys actually manifested this. You manifested this good news. You manifested this result. You knew that this was coming. You knew that this would be your time to finally speak your piece. You knew that this would be your time to be like, okay, this is what I want and this is what I don't want. Scorpio, a lot of you could have moved. You could have um, expanded your space. Or you're thinking about making sure that your home is organized. But Scorpio, there's also an energy that I'm picking up on where you have to have to have to not be so much into the clouds or into what they're going to do or what's about to happen. I feel like a lot of you are very scared of the worst case scenario. And this is tying into having that conversation or it could be applying for that job. It could be getting that phone call, hearing that congratulations. It's like you're assuming the worst or this vibe of everyone is kind of out to get you and that's not the energy that you need to be in. For the month of October, you're actually going to be hearing good news, but there's anxiety here. I say that you're going to experience good news because the back of the deck energy is the nine of pentacles. Okay. 
So at least we know that you have nothing to worry about. Oh, Queen of Swords being very direct. You have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to fret over, but I can understand that you're anxious. You're anxious to speak to this person. You're anxious to get started. You're anxious to take that next step. You're anxious to start over. You're anxious to start this new beginning in your life. And because you're anxious, you may even be overwhelmed in your space. So I, I recommend for Scorpio, please clean your room. Please clean your space. Please dust. Please take spiritual baths, Scorpio. You're definitely waiting for good news. You're definitely waiting for confirmation. And I do feel that you're going to um, receive it. So that's actually really good. Your reading is actually very positive. Three of Wands. So don't assume the worst. Don't hope for the worst. Only expect the best. Now, Scorpio, um, with the truth, some of you could be um, experiencing unexpected pregnancies, whether it be you or there's a pregnancy in your situation or there's children involved. That is a vibe here for Scorpio as well, needing to hear the truth about how that's going to go. If it's nothing to do with anything like that, Scorpio, there is an emphasis on sensuality and sex and passion and needing to feel that connection. So some of you are in relationships and you don't feel like you're happy in the exchange that you're getting from your partner or you don't feel like it's enough. So it's like you want more from the person, whether it be you watching this reading for someone that you're involved with that's a Scorpio, they want more from you. Or if you are a Scorpio, you want more from your partner. Or if you're single, you want more from life. So you've been manifesting a love that's just going to keep filling your cup and just overflow, overflow, overflow. So some of you actually haven't had sex in a long time or you're having sex, but the connection isn't there. So that's a vibe here as well for um, Scorpio. Page of Wands, Eight of Cups. And it's really because you've been mentally done or you've just been disgusted or you've just been like keeping to yourself, but now you're just kind of feeling like, when am I going to have this intimacy or when am I going to have this happiness? When am I going to feel this love that I want to feel? And Spirit is saying, please don't rush it, but it's going to happen a little sooner than you think. I do sense intimacy for a lot of Scorpio in the month of um, October and November. But you guys have been through a lot. And if it's not sex, it's definitely just missing someone holding your hand, missing someone giving you a hug missing that connection maybe your partner has been very very busy and you want quality time scorpio i feel like one of your love languages is quality time you you've been feeling neglected you've been feeling alone this mercury retrograde has kind of been causing this rift where there's misunderstandings or there's miscommunication in your love life or in your um relationship life but there's definitely an emphasis here of Scorpio. There could be someone wanting to speak with you and make amends with you. Or you may be wanting to do that with someone from your past. Okay. Another message that's coming through for Scorpio that I'm picking up on is there's going to be process of elimination in the month of October and November. I do feel like you're going to be looking at your circle and re-evaluating your friends. You guys kind of do this every year where you look at your circle and... You know, you're just making sure that everybody's on the same page with you. You're making sure that nothing's sneaky going on around you. You're making sure that everything is good. So I feel like you're going to be doing a roll call on all of your friends again, just to double check that everybody's on the same page with you. Some of you may be removing people from your life. Some of you may be bringing more people in. Some of you may be just being like, okay, I'm good with what I got. That's a vibe that's here as well. Your money's okay, everything is safe, but I do feel like you're in your head a lot, Scorpio. I do. And it's because you have gone through an immense amount of betrayal over the past six months. And I do feel that spirit wants to bring these topics back up because you have to resolve it or it's going to become the song that never ends, okay? Another thing that's coming through, Scorpio, once you receive the truth, you have to make a decision on what you wanna do, okay? Because if you stay, you're just continuing on the cycle, and that means you're okay with it. And I don't know what that means for some of you, but if you are okay with how it is, then that's fine. Once you know the truth and you're okay with it, good. But once you know the truth and you're not okay with it, it just doesn't serve you to stay, and then you're fighting with this person, or you feel like you're not getting anything out of it, because then it becomes toxic. 
So keep that in mind, Scorpio. You don't have to harm yourself by keeping certain people or certain things or certain hobbies around. Scorpio, I am feeling that it's necessary for a lot of you to take a vacation on your solar return as well. And just be surrounded by love. If anything, Scorpio, you need a big hug. You need the reassurance that everything's going to be okay. Because there is this energy of I'm walking away because I'm not feeling the vibes. I'm not feeling this emotional connection. Or I walked away and I'm in a new beginning. But I'm a little bit frazzled and I need that quality time. I need love. I need intimacy. I need, I need the reassurance. And Scorpio, you're normally very sure of yourself. But as of lately, it's just been very, it's been very heavy for you. You haven't really been happy in your living situation or you just don't like how your home is because you've been busy. Maybe you haven't had enough time to maybe to, to clean. Some of you probably just moved so everything's all over the place. So that is a vibe here. But Eight of Cups being here is not here for no reason. Page of Cups. Okay. Six of Wands. Yeah, so Queen of Pentacles, she's all about making her home beautiful. So I do feel like there's going to be a big focus on making your home beautiful, making your home stand out. But make sure you're surrounding yourself with love and that you're taking care of yourself, Scorpio. There is a huge emphasis on that. I want to pull some, I have just pulled these cards from the back. Some love compass messages for Scorpio. One, two, three, four. Okay, they're saying stop. Soulmate. Scorpio, you are actually attracting a soulmate connection. You are very close and communication is key. So for my Scorpios that are single, continue to keep practicing self-love and you will eventually manifest the love that you deserve. Again, I feel like a lot of you are yearning. A lot of you are just, when am I going to meet my person? And the fact that you're making this call, you're, you're just... You're oozing, I need love, I need it. And it's not like you need it and you're not gonna give it back. Like you want love, but you're so ready to give a lot out of it. But a lot of you are scared to do it. And a lot of you are kind of like, no offense, scared of the world. You're scared of how, if anyone's gonna screw you over. So it kind of looks like you don't want these things. It kind of looks like you don't want to have these things, but you do. And if you're in a relationship, you want a deeper commitment but it's kind of like, I don't want to bring it up because I keep bringing it up and nothing keeps happening and I don't want to fight. But a part of me kind of wants to fight about it. A part of me should let it go, but a part of me doesn't really want to. A part of me is not ready for it. But no matter what this is, this is you yearning and calling for love. You're calling your person. It's like I heard um, a siren's call. The siren's call. Like a mermaid, she's calling. And when a siren is calling, right... When she, the story about the sirens is she calls and she sings this song. It's a mermaid that's sitting on a rock and she's singing this song. And the pirates on the ship, they get drawn to that sound. It's even a story in Haiti. <laughs> if you're Haitian, you already know where I'm about to go with this. The people that mysteriously disappear because they heard this calling. And they come back seven years later as priests and priestesses. Okay, so... You're definitely feeling this calling for a love that is deep. So you probably experienced some disappointment in your love life or some form of heartbreak, and I feel it. And it hurts you deeply. Now, I have to be honest, some of you probably acted out of character when a certain relationship fell apart. Some of you, not all, some of you regret what was said. Some of you regret it. You still stand by what you said, but you regret how it came out, okay? So it's kind of like, I wish it didn't happen that way. Some of you regret the whole thing. Some of you just regret how it was said because you weren't expecting everything to fall this way. So this energy here is more so like, I'm calling on my soulmate. I'm calling on the love of my life to come find me. I'm calling on this person to see me. Um, I need intimacy. So the message on this card, this person is a soulmate. They are meant to be at this part of your path. This may pertain to someone new coming into your reality. So a lot of you are manifesting someone and not realizing it. And if you are pushing away love altogether, 
your solar return is coming. This is a very powerful time for you guys to speak things into existence. So be very mindful of what you say, Scorpio. Because if you don't want love and you say it, then great. But if you do want love, but then you contradict yourself, then you're just confusing. You're just confusing the universe right now. So don't confuse yourself. Don't confuse the universe and say exactly what you want. Even if it's in the privacy of your own home, nobody can hear you. Okay? Communication is also key. I do feel like um, communication and speaking and talking about your feelings is going to be a theme for Scorpio in the month of October. Finding that balance. Okay? So there needs to be clear communication. There is a need for expressing of feelings of the heart and this relationship or connection. I'm, I'm jumbling the words because I'm kind of lethargic. I'm still fighting a cold. I'm sorry, guys. But you guys can read the card. Work on communicating and connecting in different ways. Fully connect with the person and let them know how you feel. Now, Scorpio, I know it's hard for y'all to express yourselves. I mean, it is, but then it isn't. You guys are just so strange with that. It's easy to express yourself because you guys are the most sensual, one of the most sensual signs in the zodiac. But then it's hard to express yourself, especially if maybe you were wrong or they were wrong or it's just too deep for you or what if it's not reciprocated. But spirit is saying you are safe to express yourself. And some of you, some, a lot of you could be like reconnecting with someone. Or you're with someone but you need to deepen the connection and deepen that understanding. That's here. The tower card is happening sooner than you think. Don't get scared of seeing the tower card. This is lightning striking. Sudden changes are coming in. You can't avoid it. Okay? There's going to be a resolution to this. Okay? Two of swords. You're indecisive of making this move, but I feel that you will. It could be happening around the full moon, so pay attention to the full moon. The full moon is going to be in Aries this month. You guys could be having communication with someone around the full moon. The high priestess, you've been having visions of this person in the Ten of Cups. It doesn't have to be sexual or romantic, but I am sensing that vibe. Or some of you are in the space of praying. So if you're in the space of praying and you're manifesting the type of relationship that you want or the type of job that you want, the type of money you want to make, this is a very powerful and potent time for you, Scorpio. Very important time for you. So let's pull some angel messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. More date nights, more flowers, more intimacy, more intimacy, more I'm sorry, more let's just a lot of makeup sex could be happening for Scorpio. A lot of just a lot of loving, a lot of clearing the air, a lot of starting over is happening for Scorpio. A lot of I'm about to put myself out there and date is happening for Scorpio. A lot of I'm going to go within. It's, oh, wow. See, it says it on the card. Go within. So, Scorpio, you are very intuitive, right? You are very intuitive. And there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now, but be patient with yourself. That's the message. And then you guys also got the nine of thought. Stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts towards the positive. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. I, I said that in the beginning of the reading too. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angels. Interesting. So Scorpio, I am not worried about you guys at all. I feel like this is going to be a very vulnerable season for all of you. And it's going to be a very beautiful season for all of you. Scorpio season is around the corner. Okay, we're in Libra season right now. And um, you're going to be okay. I feel that you're going to be okay. Anyways, I love you guys so much, Scorpio. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what's been happening around you guys, Scorpio. And I will talk to you guys next month with this type of reading, okay? Bye, guys.